Hello everyone! Today is another great day and we are here in another great place in the south. I'm sure you're all familiar with Cafe Bene. Join me as we go inside and discover another awesome coffee house. I know, it's been quite a while since been graduation. Years, yes. It's been years. <laughs> yes. Diane here is a graduate of CCA in the year... 2005. 2005. Right now, I'm in Cafe Bene, where their family bought a franchise of Cafe Bene here in the Philippines. So, I'm sure, Diane, you have so many things to tell me about this love, awesome place. Yeah. Let's go inside, I'll show you more. Okay, that will be great. What are the things that you learned then and are applying now in your business? Everything. Mm -hmm. I learned everything and had to apply here. From managing, from costing, from being with other people. All Customer things that service. I learned from CCA, I applied here in Cafe Bay. I see. Yeah. That's very good. I'm very thankful that I went to CCA studied there. It helped a lot here. Were you able to go out of town or out of the country to um, take further studies in relation to culinary? After CCA, because uh, in culinary, that's back of the house. Mm -hmm. After that, I went to the States and studied the front of the house aspect. Mm -hmm. So I went, I went to NECI, New England Culinary Institute, mm -hmm. and got my degree there for hospitality and restaurant management. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. So, front and back? Front and back, I got both. both Best of both worlds. Best of and both And then worlds. I was able to apply it here. Now, let's go to this store. It's so beautiful. Can you, you tell me about the interiors? The interior, the concept is more on the European country style. Mm -hmm. So, very you'll see rustic. a lot of wood, uh -huh. very rustic. Uh, with the greens and also there's a book we call this a book cafe uh -huh. you'll have we will see books and then you, the books are you can use them you can read them do okay. a lot of um your guests i read? see a lot of guests pull a book and then read mm -hmm. until they just hang here with their coffee then they just read the book so normally what what is your clientele well depends on the hours mm -hmm. so most of them are students but in the morning, it's most of the older ones having other retirees. Together. Well, I don't want to call them that, but yes. Ah, uh, yeah. I see. And then at night, at or night, weekends? these are the group of parkadas, the parkadas, the students, and we have a lot of Koreans mm, who come yes, in. Of course. They really patronize Cafe Bene. Okay, Cafe Bene. What does Bene mean? Bene is an Italian word. It uh -huh. means good or well. So oh, you, okay. you use that in benefactor. Benevolence, mm, I see, okay. So, Cafe Ben is like good, good coffee. coffee. Good coffee. Oh. Now, I have here a really cute mug. Can you explain this mug to me? Well, this mug is called Kiss Mug. Kiss Mug? It's How called come? Kiss Mug because if you can notice, the rim is shaped like a lip. Uh huh. So, when you use it, it's like you're kissing someone. Okay, I'm going to try it. Medyo parang, pero kulang pa. Kulang pa. <laughs> anyway, this is a cute concept. It's really cute. So, Diane, what 
What are your best sellers here? Our best sellers, of course, still the coffee. Our coffee is medium roast. When you say medium roast, it's roasted to a certain degree where all the characteristics of the beads are, uh, are they come out. Mm -hmm. It's not like when you say dark roast, it's more on the burnt side. Uh, when you say medium roast, it's more on bringing out the best of the bean. Uh, so it's either medium or dark? There's light, there's medium, there's dark. Okay. The best roast level would be medium. It's like wine. Mm -hmm. When you drink wine, diba, oh, there's the aroma, there's the bouquet, and there's everything. Yeah. Diba? Sa coffee, may ganun din pala. Mm. So you can get that when it's roasted it's a medium level. Lang. Tsaka to play safe, medium. Yes. Not naman to play safe, but more on bringing out the best of the bean. The, the safest way is to say medium. Medium. It's a medium roast. I see. So aside from your coffee, what else do you offer? We have our Liege waffle, we have the honey bread, we have bingsu, and we have the gelato. What is bingsu? Bingsu is a Korean word for halo-halo. Ah. It's ice parfait. Uh -huh. So you'll see the big bowl with a lot of strawberries, for example, the strawberry bingsu. I'll order that. Yeah, you should try that. That's, what, that's our best seller, okay. strawberry bingsu. I, I will definitely order that later. So, uh, Cafe Bene is a franchise? Yes, our family got the master franchise here in the Philippines. We now have five stores. Mm -hmm. And they are? They are in Eastwood, in SMX Convention Center. This here is in SMBF, in Valero, Makati. And the farthest would be SM Clark, Pampanga. Wow, it's a good thing we didn't have to go to Clark <laughs> yeah, it's kind of to interview you. Yes. But that would have been fun as well. It's a nice store. Very open, it's all glass, and very bright inside. So most of your interiors are, are the same? It's mostly the same with the rustic look, the wood, the chairs. Although it's uh, oriented in a different way. But mm -hmm. uh, when you go in a Cafe Bene, you'll know. You'll know. You'll know the feel. Yeah. Wow, Diane, there's so many goodies here in the table. Can you tell me about them? This one is called Caramel Cinnamon Honey Bread. So it's a thick bread with a lot of caramel and cinnamon and it's topped with whipped cream. Wow. And then this one is the huge strawberry bean soup. That's the largest size that we have. Wow, this is so it's attractive. A lot of strawberries, red bean, and strawberry gelato. Okay. And then this one is called the affogato. It's a scoop affogato. of gelato and uh -huh. a shot of espresso. The way you eat this one is you pour the espresso over the gelato. And then the, since the espresso is hot, the gelato melt. will melt. It's more like a creamy... Ice cream. Creamy ice cream. Uh -huh. And you can change the flavor of the yes, ice cream. Yes, you, you can uh, choose the flavor that you want. Mm, you have several uh, yes. flavors. We have 10 flavors from. in the store. I see. Okay, so I guess let's try this out first. I love this part. Join me. It's actually my favorite part, the, the crunch. Crust. So a lot of wow, I can want, hear the crunch. They want the middle part, but mm. for me, it's the outer crunch part. I can really hear the crunch. Mm. Wow. This is so good. Mm. So the caramel and the cinnamon, they work, they blend together. Mm -hmm. And the, because of the whipped cream, parang iba yung combination talaga. So this is good for how many people? Well, I've seen... Groups. person eat that and they... One can, person? Pero yeah. siguro two or three. Uh, like a boyfriend, yeah. girlfriend. Yes, normally uh, couples. And you have... Um, other flavors of this? We have three varieties of honey bread. Ah. So two sweet variety. This is the caramel cinnamon. We also have the choco banana honey bread. And the savory variety would be the garlic and cheese honey bread. So which is the most popular? For the sweet one? side, it's this one, the caramel cinnamon. Since we only have one savory, the garlic and cheese. But among the three, it's the garlic and cheese honey bread. Nice. Oh, okay. Over this part, we have the 
strawberry bingsu. Strawberry bingsu. And bingsu means? Bingsu is a Korean word for halo-halo, the ice sparkling. I see, but of course, this is um, the Korean version. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I have to mix it. It's the same as eating halo-halo. But if you prefer, I've seen some, diba, the top first, they eat everything on top before they mix it. So uh -huh. it's up to you. How about you? How do you prefer it? Mix everything. Mm. Mm. You can really taste the fresh strawberries. So good. I think I'm gonna have another one. You should finish the whole thing. Oh no, I can't. This is not good. <laughs> not good for me. And last of all, it's the affogato. Affogato. So just pour the espresso over the gelato. Mm -hmm. And then... The whole thing? Yes, the whole thing. And just let it melt. Yeah, and you can, you can eat it right now. No, but maybe just a bite won't hurt. Yeah. So I should melt it first. You can um, taste the bitter bitterness of the espresso and the sweetness of the gelato, yeah. and the crunch of the almonds. Uh, almonds. Yes, very good. I love it. So, um, those that still don't know about Cafe Bene, this is just a sample of what's in store for you in this very very awesome coffee shop. So those that want to know more about Cafe Bene, where do they um, to? Well, you can visit our website. It's mm -hmm. cafebene.com.ph or you can follow us on Twitter. It's cafebene.ph uh -huh. and you can also like us on Facebook, cafebene.ph. I definitely will like you later. Diane, I would like to thank you so much for inviting me here, inviting the crew here, and um, for serving us this delectable dishes, desserts that you have. And You've given me a wider knowledge of um, Korean desserts. Thank you. Thank you for visiting. Mm -hmm. Glad you like everything. I really like them all. In fact, I will be bringing, um, you know, I'll be maybe meeting up with some friends and um, I'll definitely have it in uh, one of your Cafe Bene uh, branches. And um, I'll also spread the word. Uh, around to my friends, my relatives, and bring the family as well. So once again, uh, Diane, thank you so much. I'm so happy to have seen you after so long and to have tasted all of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. In Cafe Bene, you get a taste of Korea here in the Philippines. You don't have to go far to experience this. Again, I am Anne Certesa Palmares for food and finesse.